I'm Sol. And I'm Akik. And I'm Hispanic. Now let's talk about fantastic views and where to find them. And this is Disney Channel. Cha -cha. That was always my dream as a kid. It's like I want to be there. I want to do that little thing. Because sometimes they didn't have like celebrities do that. I was like, I can do that. I can totally do that. There are spoilers. A lot of them. I want you. I really like this movie. It was really good. I would watch it again for sure. Uh, many times actually. I thought it was really funny. Great characters. Eddie Redmayne. Redmayne. Sorry. The accent. It was just really enjoyable, really entertaining. I really liked it. But I went with really high expectations. And I, most of the movie I kind of sort of compared to the Harry Potter movies. Myself being a really big Harry Potter fan, I've read all the books, I've seen all the movies, so I'm really a huge fan of it, I love it. So I went there thinking of the movies, kind of like expecting it was going to be like it, instead of just looking at it as something new, which is wrong. So I'm going to talk about the magic. So I expected a bit more magic, I love the scene where um, Queenie was doing the food, that looked beautiful and because it evolves so much with humans we don't get to see that much magic or at least the magic we used to see in the harry potter world you cannot see a lot of you cannot get the pew 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 kind of magic but you don't get the magic kind of when you go to the weasley's house and you could see like everything you know magical there you see a little bit of it but i expect a little bit more and that was a problem with me that it evolved so much with humans because it kind of took out that magical world. It was kind of like, okay, this is a world I see every day, you know, it's not something huge. Fantastic Beast. First of all, why is it called Fantastic Beasts and where to find them? Because the beasts, they do get screen time, but they're not the main focus of the movie. They're one of the plots of the movie for sure, but they don't get enough screen time. And my question is, the next movies, why am I still with this? The next movie won't, the main character won't be Newt or any of the other characters. It'll be more about Dumbledore and Grindelwald. Sorry, I'm pronouncing these names wrong. <laughs> They're hard, okay? And so, why would, how are you gonna call that? They're gonna change the name so that it matches the story or they're just gonna be fantastic reasons where to find them one, two, three, four, five. That's something, I don't know, that I was thinking. Also, I love this, the Niffler, that's how you call it, sorry. It was so cute. It kind of looked like a platypus, which I thought it was adorable. I love the green little people. Now, the scene, I wanted to go later to the scenes, but the scene where they go to the luggage, that was my favorite scene of the entire movie. It was just simply beautiful. Everything was just felt so magical. That was what I was looking for in this movie. That's why I was like, yes, it was so satisfying. So I really like... They show these little llamas with big eyes. I thought they were so cute. They only had them like for two seconds for some reason. I don't know why though. Because they were so cute. And then they had this octopus. It was so like shiny and stuff. And it only showed for a second. I was like, wait, no, I want to see it. So cool. What? Why? But um, then I didn't like the lion one. I don't know. But overall, they were really good. Some people are complaining about the CGI of them. I mean, I guess I can see it, but I enjoy them. I thought they matched with the world. They were really funny, and I know they're gonna make a lot of money out of them with merchandise and stuff like that. The story, I was disappointed about it. it the pacing was just kind of slow. Okay, so the scene where the mating dance, it could have been so funny, but it fell out of place. I just didn't think it kind of like match what we were story we were going through and it wasn't really funny it could have been really funny but they executed in a way that wasn't really now the story again i was talking with this with my sister she kind of said this is just an introduction of the world which kind of makes sense you know if you watch the first harry potter film it's a lot of you know introduction introduction not much of action so i can see it in this but it still didn't like appeal to me i don't know why i love the humor of this film. It's so funny. The, the, that one scene when the guy is like, I'm uh, Jacob, I think it's his name. Sorry, I'm just so bad with names. Jacob is like, oh, why, why are you here? Same as you. Oh, you're opening a bakery store and asking for a loan? I thought that was so cute and funny. There was a lot of good humor. In this case, I really loved, I really like that. I really like the humor. But I was kind of confused at, at some points with like the two plots going on, intertwined. 
I don't know, it just didn't connect. I, I don't know, I just didn't love it so much, the, the story. Now I'm gonna go with the characters. <sighs> Eddie Raymond, aka Newt, so fantastic. He was my favorite part of this movie, I think I mentioned this. But he was so like socially awkward. And I love the fact that he was, you know, awkward with people. But once he got to talk with people, like his personality, he was just so outgoing. It was, this was the, his thing, like this was it. And it was amazing to watch that. And when he goes, it's like, and they're taking away the suitcase from here and they're gonna like, you know, open them and stuff like that. He's like, no, they're not dangerous, they're not dangerous. It's so sad and it's, because they're, they're his best friends, they're the, like his only friend, friends. So it's really sad and I don't know, his character, I thought he was so sweet, so relatable, so nice. So I think he did, he's my favorite actor in real life. So I was so happy when I found out he was gonna be in this because like Harry Potter and Ed Raymond two things um yes i'm here for it and i'm gonna go to jacob amazing job the guy he was so funny so sweet the end though when i did not expect that at all that he would just go to the rain like that i thought you know they were gonna keep him somehow like you know we're just gonna hide them and just gonna but no i would never expect that and I, some, you know i really like it i was like huh nice job and i like him overall he was sweet and he was like the audience Pretty much he was like the audience because, you know, he was reacting to this new world as we were reacting to this new world. So I thought that was really um, cool. Now we're going to go with Queenie. Oh, so cute. She's so... I love her whole, like, one thing which she was doing. So elegant and cute. Um, I love her power. That was something I really like about this movie. That it introduces new power that we I've never seen before. I think someone in the Harry Potter world had it. I don't remember who. But it was not something we saw that much, so I thought it was so cool that she had that. I don't know, she was just really like also funny, and she added that little spice that was like perfect for the cast. I think it was like really uh, well played, she was really funny, and I love the little thing she had with Jacob, you know. It was cute, it was sweet, and the way she could read people all the time, and she was great. She was really, really great. Now... Tina though, that's, I put her last in the least because she was my least favorite one. I feel like her character was really bland, she did not have much to offer, she was really uninteresting. I didn't care for that character. She didn't have something new to bring to the table, you know, you know, Nude is like the awkward one, Jacob is a funny one, um, Queen is like, you know, the flirty one, also funny, but Tina was just, just I didn't get to fully like her that much it's just i just didn't feel it now the two other characters um grindable before he gets revealed that he's grindable the guy he um ben affleck he does a really great job we don't see much of him but i think the little thing that we saw of him he was really good really well executed I was talking to a friend, I thought it was really interesting because you know how in the end we find out that he's Grindelwald and at one point he's talking with Newt and he goes uh, why did Dumbledore like, you know, why was he cool like helping you not get expelled or something like that something in those lines so pretty much hinting like, huh, why was Dumbledore interested in you, you know, I was like huh, Grindelwald, you're jealous, what, maybe, I don't know so, oh, my friend was telling me that it would be so good if they had casted um, Tom Hiddleston. Tom Hiddleston. I can totally see it. I was disappointed when I saw, I find out before I watched the movie that Johnny Depp was playing Grindelwald. And when I watched it, I was like, no, no. The whole master sheen thing. That they did. I always imagined Grindelwald really like mysterious, really elegant and you know, kind of like really like Lucius Malfoy kind of thing, that, like look wise I would have never imagined like what they did in the end but we'll see we have Ezra Miller's character, he the obscure... I cannot pronounce that um, I thought he was really good, we didn't get to see much of it, I, I hope we have seen a little bit more of him he was just really interesting. I did not expect that at all. Like I was like, it's a sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And then he goes, and poof, 
hardcore and all these walls kind of like go on you're like that's him chan 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 also the whole like reference to like harry potter they were so subtle and so good like they didn't were like oh okay this is a harry potter movie no they made it really subtle like the deadly hallows little thing of course they mentioned hogwarts and Silver morning and stuff like that but I also really like the subtle ones those were really really good and the less strange comment and I know Ezra Miller's character is not dead a little part of him is like going like that so he's not dead and there was even a cut scene of him getting a boat at the end but they cut it so he's alive so we'll see him most likely again also one thing when they go to the speakeasies and they have this guy that's a bartender he looks really cgi like when i watched dobby in the harry potter films he looked more real this one guy i wish they had like an actor and they just put all the makeup stuff in it instead of having this really cgi character that was something i know i'm going like not in order but i really like the <clears throat> beginning of the movie i thought it was really magical the whole like newspaper stuff and when he get when you see him in the boat oh, so good good job i don't know why one issue with me when i was watching this movie i don't like horror films at all i can't i just don't like them i don't enjoy them i don't see the point of paying money to watch that because i don't enjoy them whatsoever i don't i know people who like to get scared i'm not one of those people i can go to a haunted house and i don't get scared but watching those movies it's not my thing so when i was watching this movie i kind of got a vibe of course, way less scarier than a horror film. You know, the scene where they have the um, Shaw, that one guy who they like levitate him and then he goes down. He's like, well, yeah, like that. So I feel like it was kind of like sometimes really like not scary, but really like creepy. You know, like kind of gave me that creepy vibe, which I never had in a Harry Potter film. It was scary in the sense that you felt danger, but this one was like creepy so that was one thing that i was like huh because i wasn't used to it i did not expect that that's why I, I know people love that part i have a friend she's like that was something i really like about movie. but for me that wasn't something that i would normally enjoy that's why i did not like it i talked for so long i think i want to wrap it up here so thank you so much for watching this i'm gonna get better with those youtube thing oh, leather red leather yellow leather red leather yes that too be able to enunciate, you know, so you can understand me. Goodbye. Well, that did not work out. Well, that did not work out.